Hello, my name is M. Jason Graham, and this is in under five minutes, foils. Last time we talked about the purpose of foils in a story. So I just want to go over a few points. Now remember that foils are aspects of the agonist reflection or core traits, which is to say, in particular, this generally deals with the psyche of the character. It's either the antagonist or the protagonist, and it's a character that is representative of a community to which the antagonist or protagonist has responsibilities to. And so, so all of our stories are not told in a Shakespearean kind of way with these grand monologues. We interject as storytellers these foils that the character can have conversations with who have a different point of view than the character, even though they're aligned in their ideology. Uh, they do have uh, slightly differing points of view, but we're able to reveal a great deal about the character through these conversations. So, <clears throat> in particular, with your protagonist, you have generally in a, a, a story, you have three foils. If you have an adventure link story or even a, and we'll get into the length of story next month because that gets into story blueprint but basically i'll say if you have a story that's at least 20 minutes long you're going to reveal at least two or three different foils that reveal things about that character now the difference with the antagonist foils is remember because with the antagonist we're not really focusing on their arc we're not following them. We're kind of seeing the actions that they're doing in order to counter the actions of the protagonist. We don't get to see as many interactions, but that doesn't mean that that relationship between the antagonist foil and the antagonist doesn't need to be fully developed behind the scenes. Remember, particularly with your antagonist, you're going to need to have them as three-dimensional and fully fleshed out as possible. Also, side note, which I didn't think about before, but I, I think about now, of course, your foil doesn't have to be a person necessarily. It is anything that reveals an aspect of the character. If the character is, for instance, taking care of a potted plant, and we see throughout the course of the story how they care for that plant, and then let's say one day there the antagonist comes in or one of the antagonist foils comes into the breaks into the home and they're stealing stuff and they ransack the place and they knock the plant over when the protagonist comes home and see witnesses this he or she is going to be affected by seeing the plant in that state so it gives the audience an idea of what kind of person this character is protagonist or antagonist and never never underestimate the value of of a good foil there's a, a saying that i can remember there are no small parts only small actors well this is definitely the case as far as foils are concerned and as a writer it is your responsibility to write every character as warm and three-dimensional and believably as possible. I am M. Jason Graham, and this has been an Under 5 Minutes Foils. An Under 5 Minutes is brought to you by MJGStoryCreation.com. Go to MJGStoryCreation.com for more information on how to turn your idea into an epic story today. I'll see you next time.